Hi guys, since St. Patrick's Day is around the corner, um, I wanted to do an inspired green look. So, I mean, you have to wear this on St. Patrick's Day. You can wear it any day you want to. But yeah, this is the look, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want to watch, stay tuned. See you guys in a bit. Hi guys, so, um, let's go ahead and start with the brows. Start it off. It's going to be really simple. I'm not going to do too much with it. But. Um, right now, I am using Professional Eyebrow Pencil by Rimmel. And the color Dark Brown. I'm just going to fill in your brows. I like pencil more than powder. I don't know why at this moment I just prefer it a little bit more. So, um, I'm just going to fill it in. My eyebrows are wacko. Thing on the other side. <clears throat> Next, let's go start with the eye primer. The same thing that I always use is the Shadow Insurance Too Faced. And this is going to help prime and like not crease. And my eyelids do crease, especially in the summer. But right now it's, it's okay, but I still like to have it on. So, after putting the eyeshadow primer in both eyes, let's start with the wash of color. Take any eyeshadow fluffy but fluffy eyeshadow brush um I'm going to my Lancome blush subtle color design quad and I'm going to pick that light color just a little bit tap off I'm just going to have a wash of color from lid to brow just something so Next, I'm gonna take my eye, NYX eye jumbo. What's it called? Jumbo eyeshadow pencil. And these are really cool. They're really good as um to make the colors pop even more. If you're gonna use lighter color colors like this, and it's really cheap and inexpensive, and it's really compared to the uh, Mac shade sticks, and they're way cheaper than that. And I like them. They're really creamy. So I'm just gonna put them in the in a corner. Of my eye. Don't use too much because this does crease. Any finger just blend it out. And then I'm gonna go I'm gonna use majority of the NYX eyeshadow colors today. This one it's in check ES81. Wow it's actually zooming pretty good today. This is what it looks like it's just yellow. I don't think it has any shimmers to it. A little bit of shine, it's like a sheen. I'm take one side of my um, eyeshadow brush, pat it, tap off. I'm just gonna have it on my inner corner, and that's it. Just the inner corner. Beauty by NYX. It's in ES47 eyeshadow number 47 so, this is what it looks like this is a sheen also no shimmer just a little sheen to it like the same brush <clears throat> I'm gonna put it a little bit over the yellow in the middle It's gonna be like your transition color to the darker green. The same to the other side. It's gonna look messy, it's okay. We can blend it all out at the end. Next, I'm another NYX color. It's also green, it's called Wildfire Eyeshadow number 116. This is what it looks like, and I think this has a little shimmer to it. Tiny shimmers are darker. Uh, this is just going to be focused on the outer corner.
And I kind of want to blend it up instead of going down since um, I just like that effect of putting your eyeshadow going up. You could put tape right there and do the same thing, but I'm just so lazy to look at the tape. So I'm just going to try to blend the eyeshadow up this way when I blend it up, but that's going to be in a bit. Do the same for the other side. I'm going with that same quad earlier for the wash of color with this green. This green is called Strut Intense. Really, it's a really dark green. So, same brush, and I'm just gonna tap it on the other corner, just like that, like a C or backwards C. You could even use your um, blending brush to do this, but. I just want to try to keep my blending brush clean as much as possible. Start blending with the same blending brush. A little light stroke. This takes time, so just be patient. I'm gonna do the same on this side. I'm gonna go with the all, all over color again. I'm gonna use more of it this time. And that color is called. Filigree, filigree, and it's a shimmer. So, yes. And I'm just gonna put it like. Any pencil brush, I'm using this e.l.f. one, it's a sponge tip, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna go back in with that dark green on this um, color design quad by Lancome. And I'm gonna bring this dark green eyeshadow on the bottom. Just on the outer corners. And then the inner corner, I think I'm gonna. Hmm, I'm gonna use the yellow. Go back to the yellow. Just tap, tap it on. You can use a thinner brush, but I am lazy, so I'm just gonna. Dab it lightly like that. And then like in the corner. That's it for the eyeshadow. Uh, so, let's do it eyeliner. I'm going to put it on top of my lash line. And I'm going to smudge it after. So, I'm, I'm trying to get it as close to my lash line as much as possible. Don't worry if it's not too neat because you're gonna smudge smudge that out. I sound really weird. I'm trying to concentrate on something. Smudge your brush or you can use Q tip. I think I'm gonna put falsies on and this is also optional. Yeah, I think. So I'm gonna put these Ardell's 109s. This is new, so bear with me. I still need practice to put it on. And this is it. These are the 109s. This is what they look like. So, um, I just finished putting my falsies on. I'm gonna use MAC Myth, something I always use. Anything nude, you can do pinks too. It's like soft pink. I always use Myth. Lancome Pink Dimension. It's a lip gloss. It's pink. I love this applicator, guys. Look how amazing it is. <laughs> and that's my look, guys. <laughs> so, um, if you have any questions or comments, guys, just comment down below. Until then, I'll see you guys very soon, and I hope you guys enjoy this look. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching again. Mm -hmm.